Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is introduce logarithms, and it really comes from a consequence of trying to solve an exponential equation. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of uh, playing around with numbers to start off with. We know, for example, that 10 to the 1 is 10, and we know that 10 to the 2 is 100. And so we could keep going, 10 cubed is equal to 1,000. And then we could say, well, okay, well, 10 to the 4 will then be 10,000, okay? But what would it have to be? 10 to the what would be something like 5,000. What would that number have to be? So we know that the number would have to be between 3 and 4, okay? But what would it be? And we could do it by trial and improvement. We could try 3.5. Um, if that was, uh, so let's say, 10 to the 3.5, uh, that's 3,162, so too small. So we could then go to 3.7, that's 5,011, so that's very close. So we'd try 3.68. That's 4,786. So you could tr use trial and improvement and home in on a fairly accurate answer, as accurate as you really want it to be. Okay? But can we write it down in an exact way? That's really the thing. Now, on your calculator, okay, so I'm working with the Casio FX901EX class with, okay. Uh, on a scientific calculator, you will come across a button that looks like this. So there is a log, there's a little box, and that's coloured in. And then you've got an empty box looking like that. So that's your button. Okay. Now, this button on your calculator is worth playing around with, okay, to see what happens. Now, this little number here that we input, we refer to as the base number. Okay? So, let's say we started with uh, log base 10. Okay? So, what I've typed in is I've pressed the log button. Okay? And I've typed in 10. Let's say, let's try 1. Right, so log base 10 of 1 is 0. Okay, so let's see if we can get some nice numbers from this. So let's try log base 10 of 2. So log base 10 of 2. Ah, now that's 0 0.301, okay? Not a very nice number. So how about uh, log base 10 of 5, maybe? Is that a nice number? Log base 10 of 5. No, that's 0.698, etc. So that's not very nice. So how about log base 10 of 10? Log base 10 of 10. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's 1. Okay, there's a nice one. Okay, so 1 gave us 0, 10 gave us 1. So maybe if we try 100, what do we actually get? Okay, so log base 10 of 100 is 2. And then we could try log 10 of 1,000, okay? So our guess would probably be that this is going to be 3, right? So try on your calculator, log 10, 1,000 is 3. So, you know, you could generalize that to say, well, log 10 of 10 to the k, okay, whatever that k is, will be what you get out, okay? So, you can now see that actually there is this link between indices and logarithms, okay? Between the exponential form and the logarithmic form. And so what we'd want to do is really, um, to generalize it, say, well, what you can see here is that this bit, this one here, is relating directly to that one. Uh, log 10, 100 equals 2 is 
is relating directly to this. Log 10, 10, what is 1, is relating directly to that. Okay, so you can kind of read these off. This is the exponential form. This is the logarithmic form. And both of these things mean precisely the same thing. It's just another way of writing it, another format of writing down the same equation. So, what we could then say, okay, is that if we had y equals b to the x, this is what we would refer to as exponential form. And then to convert that, okay, in either direction, if and only if, x is equal to log base b of y. And this is the logarithmic form. So it's incredibly important that you can go from exponential to logarithmic form with ease, okay, to be able to make that conversion. So if we were going back to this problem over here, 10 to the something is equal to 5,000, okay, so that would be writing it in this form, 5,000 is equal to 10 to the power of x. I want to find that value of x. Well, x will be equal to log base 10 of 5,000. So log base 10 of 5,000 is equal to 3.69897. Etc. So 3.70 to 3 sig fig. And we knew it had to be between 3 and 4. Okay, we could get that uh, via trial and improvement, but a lot quicker to use logarithms.